the tornado funnel? What do I do? Should I get out of my apartment right now? Oh my god, I'm freaking out. Oh my god. Um, I really don't know what to do right now, guys. I'm freaking, I'm freaking out. I'm calling my mom. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's things falling from the sky. What the? What is that? It's falling from the sky. What is that? So there's a good time. New Orleans is damaged after a tornado blew through there last night with 80 mile per hour winds. The National Weather Service confirms the EF zero tornado tossed bricks and walls across streets all throughout the seventh ward. Three buildings collapsed. Two people were hurt. And last year, Free Press Summer Fest was plagued by heat. This year, it is rain and lightning. You're looking at video of people being let back in to Free Press Summer Fest after they were told to leave around 6:30 tonight because of approaching lightning. Warned by the National Weather Service, the organizers decided to temporarily suspend the festival. Everybody had to leave. Then they were told they could go back about an hour later. Certainly not the closing night to Free Press Summerfest organizers had hoped for. Everybody is okay. The concerts are again on the damage tonight after the severe storms brought down buildings and power lines. So several people were injured, and at the height of the storms, tens of thousands of homes and businesses lost power. Lauren Bale joins us now from one of the buildings that was completely destroyed. And Lauren, what's the cleanup effort looking like tonight? Crews are out here right now cleaning up what is left of this building behind me. It was completely destroyed in the tornado. Now we're on North Claiborne and St. Phillips right now. It's still shut down and it's going to be some time before crews can clean all this up. It's a sight many folks in New Orleans have never seen. It's just unbelievable. I mean, it's pretty amazing. The severe weather system came in. The National Weather Service confirms that an EF0 tornado did touch down in New Orleans. I was standing across the street at the funeral home and the winds kicked up to about 60, 70 miles an hour. When I looked up, I saw rotating tree debris and shingles and yelled, tornado. The, the wind was wind so strong, the wind was picking us up. The wind was so strong, it was picking us up. This was a situation that we reached in the mid 90s, 97 degrees. And when that happens, we didn't have a lot of storms this morning to, to keep us capped. What happened was we got the storms build up over that 97 degree air. Think about all that heat that rises up. It rises really rapidly and then that cold air at the top what it does is it collapses, so that cold air collapses down. The power from today's storms toppled at least four abandoned buildings. Neighbors say those buildings have been unstable since Hurricane Katrina. Witnesses say they knew this wasn't a typical storm. And all I saw was a lot of debris in the air. And then I, I said, brother, look, y'all, I said, what, what is that? They say, something getting ready to happen. Two people suffered minor injuries. The impact of power customers more widespread. But tonight, Intergy has restored power to tens of thousands of homes. We're going to try to get this cleaned up as quickly as we can. Intergy's out, and they're going to have to cut the power lines and the gas lines, but we're going to just secure the areas to make sure everybody's safe. While people living in the area didn't welcome the storm's dangers, they say it did the neighborhood a bit of a favor by knocking down buildings that needed it. Now again, some now again, some roads remain closed tonight, like uh, North Claiborne and St. Phillips here. There are still people without power, but the city is out here right now trying to clean up the mess, get a jump start on it, and, uh, and uh, restore power to some of those people that are still without it right now. We're now reporting live in New Orleans, Lauren Bale, Eyewitness News. We're in uh, North Claiborne right now, and uh, we're with uh, Mayor Mitch Landrieu. And uh, Mayor, uh, just tell us if we can, uh, what you've heard from emergency crews uh, out here. Today. Well, again, our crews got out here really quickly. Um, EMS, uh, our health department, you know, all of our code enforcement and the firefighters, they did a great job. Uh, they had some severe, what we think was either a severe uh, wind or tornadic activity. You can see a touchdown in four spots in the city. I mean, you can just see it just took that house down right away. We had two minor injuries on the corner. Um, and, you know, everybody's doing everything they can to get it cleaned up as soon as we make sure that everybody's safe. How long do you think it'll take? Uh, have you talked to uh, you know Intergy and those guys? It's a little, it's a little bit too early to tell. You know, we have again four different spots. Uh, you've got to cut the gas and the electricity. Sometimes that requires you going underground, so it's going to take a bit. So we're going to ask everybody's patience. But our first responders did a great job. They got out there really quickly. They secured the scene. They made sure that everybody that was hurt was taken to the hospital. And I, and I think that you know we'll get out of this as soon as we can. Uh, you were talking about this home uh, was slated for demolition. Uh, you know, with the city being like it is, and a lot of uh, uh, houses like this. You know, it's just a very. I don't think when a tornado hits you, it doesn't matter whether you're the strongest house in the city of the week is it's going to take you down. Um, and so it looks like now the tornado touched down and a couple of, and the severe weather event was pretty dramatic. So I don't think it had anything to do with that. But we've had everybody out here making sure the scene's secure and safe. 
Thank you, Mayor. All right. Have a good one. Appreciate it. That was Mayor Mitch Landrieu uh, sort of getting us an update on uh, what he's heard from emergency crews. He was saying uh, he believes it could be, you know, strong winds or tornadic, tornadic activity. Uh, but again, very preliminary. And we've heard from uh, some emergency uh, officials as well that are here right now saying the National Weather Service is en route from Slidell to sort of assess the damage. So we will keep you updated uh, here uh, in the seventh floor. Back to you guys in the studio. Y'all, I'm freaking out. Is that a tornado funnel? What do I do? Should I get out of my apartment right now? <gasps> oh my god, I'm freaking out. Oh my god. Um, I really don't know what to do right now, guys. I'm freaking, I'm freaking out. I'm calling my mom. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's things falling from the sky. What the? What is that? It's falling from the sky. What is that? Oh, babe. This is a good time. Babe.
of New Orleans is damaged after a tornado blew through there last night with 80 mile per hour winds. The National Weather Service confirms the EF0 tornado tossed bricks and walls across streets all throughout the 7th Ward. Three buildings collapsed, two people were hurt. And last year, Free Press Summer Fest was plagued by heat. This year, it is rain and lightning. You're looking at video of people being let back in to Free Press Summerfest after they were told to leave around 6.30 tonight because of approaching lightning. Press Summerfest after they were told to leave around 6.30 tonight because of approaching lightning warned by the National Weather Service. The organizers decided to temporarily suspend the festival. Everybody had to leave. Then they were told they could go back about an hour later. Certainly not the closing night to Free Press Summerfest organizers had hoped for. Everybody is okay. The concerts are again on the damage tonight after the severe storms brought down buildings and power lines. And several people were injured, and at the height of the storms, tens of thousands of homes and businesses lost power. Lauren Bale joins us now from one of the buildings that was completely destroyed. And Lauren, what's the cleanup effort looking like tonight? Crews are out. New Orleans is damaged after a tornado blew through there last night with 80 mile per hour winds. The National Weather Service confirms the EF0 tornado tossed bricks and walls across streets all throughout the 7th Ward. Three buildings collapsed, two people were hurt. And last year, Free Press Summer Fest was plagued by heat. This year, it is rain and lightning. You're looking at video of people being let back in to Free The tornado funnel. What do I do? Should I get out of my apartment right now? Oh my God, I'm freaking out. Oh my God. Um, I really don't know what to do right now, guys. I'm freaking, I'm freaking out. I'm calling my mom. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's things falling from the sky. What the? What is that? It's falling from the sky. What is that? Oh, There's a good time. Babe. Here right now cleaning up what is left of this building behind me. It was completely destroyed in the tornado. Now we're on North Claiborne and St. Phillips right now. It's still shut down and it's going to be some time before crews can clean all this up. It's a sight many folks in New Orleans have never seen. It's just unbelievable. I mean, it's pretty amazing. The severe weather system came in. The National Weather Service confirms that an EF0 tornado did touch down in New Orleans. I was standing across the street at the funeral home and the winds kicked up to about 60, 70 miles an hour. When I looked up, I saw rotating tree debris and shingles and yelled, tornado. The wind was so strong, the wind was picking us up. The wind was so strong, it was picking us up. This was a situation that we reached in the mid-90s, 97 degrees. And when that happens, we didn't have a lot of storms this morning to, to keep us capped. What happened was we got the storms build up over that 97 degree air. Think about all that heat that rises up. It rises really rapidly. And then that cold air at the top, what it does is it collapses, so that cold air collapses down. The power from today's storms toppled at least four abandoned buildings. Neighbors say those buildings have been unstable since Hurricane Katrina. Witnesses say they knew this wasn't a typical storm. And all I 